Well, looks like we got a brand new calf. Two brand new calves. Alright. And then there's one back there that I believe is supposed to be in here. Kind of confusing. A little confusing coming in here sometimes in the morning. We had one older pair. Good thing it was tagged, so I understand who's who. Um, then there's two brand new calves, calves, and luckily they're paired off pretty well. And then there's this calf over here, which is supposed to be in that pen, but one of these mamas must have pushed it under. All this while I was planning on cleaning the building today, but it makes it a little more tough when you got all these calves and cows. Anyway. We'll move these guys and then get going. We got a heifer. That's a beautiful heifer. Now this girl over here kind of seems like she wants to kick my butt, so we'll see what happens. yelling for now we gotta go to the next barn see what's going on in there hopefully nothing and then we'll start chores thanks for sucking them in one more night girls I got a lot going on today so mom and dad got to be gone for a day so I'm running the ship all by myself not a big deal just we got some rain coming tomorrow and so I really want to get that building cleaned out because number one it's dirty and number two once it rains in February which isn't very ideal it's gonna be real hard getting around with a skid loader and a manure spreader so it needs done today but of course now we got fresh calves and in, in my way and I'm not seeing any calves calved outside so everything's good let's get feeding Every morning we feed, this Hereford walks right up to the gate that is open and then itches her head right on it. She could take a couple more steps and she'd be out, but she's like, nah, I just, this is my favorite itching spot. And for that, I appreciate you for not getting out. Thank you. And for those of you that missed it, we've been getting a couple We've had a couple of people asking where the rest of the herfers go. Oh, you kept a couple of them. Yeah, Dad's plan was to buy some fancy Herefords, breed them, and then sell them. And so that's what he did. But, you know, since people love the Herefords so much and I needed to replace a couple critters in my own herd, we kept two of them. And they'll be calving in about three weeks, four weeks. And they'll be spitting out some black baldies. It's going to be an entirely black calf because the bull was a black Angus. And then its head is going to be the same color as them, just a white head, white lid.
carry this in there? Yeah, just right here. Take a hold of that. Thanks. So everybody's fed. It's getting hot today. It's getting in the 40s. And so things are gonna be getting sloppy. It did freeze overnight, so I wanna clean this building. So hopefully all these heifers that I fed in this barn are done eating and we'll start kicking them out and get in there and start picking up all that manure. So we need that manure spreader, which is buried. So we gotta move a bunch of different stuff. We'll get in there. Then I gotta move the pears out of the barn and get them out of the way. Oh, man, you know, if those calves would walk, it wouldn't be too bad. We got everybody separated and outside. I gotta blow my nose, but we'll get going. You can see this pen got real dirty. The middle one isn't too bad, but as you know, we got weather coming, so we want this real clean, get going into that, in case we gotta keep them inside for a while. in the spreader got her pretty full so we're gonna let this air out a little bit before we start putting stuff back on top of it also as you guys know if you're not new here we spread barn lime on the ground it's just like a basic you know it's 
it's lime is what it is and it's really basic opposite of acidic and so you know we got some we got a pee spot and then of course there's a little bit of poo that we didn't get quite cleared up all the way and so that just kills any extra bacteria we got a pallet of this two years ago so that we're going on the third season it's pretty cheap stuff and it lasts quite a while So nothing's cabin. You all right? Sorry about that. So nothing's cabin at this building right here. So we'll go check on the other one, and then we'll get some cornstalk bales and shoot them in the building. It's right at noon, and so we'll spread that out, get those calves and heifers back in the barn. And then, you know, I got some leftover Papa Murphy's pizza from Super Bowl party that I'm going to snack on, and it's a good day. What do you think, Kelly? Looks good. Got to put the balls on. All right, it looks real nice in here. We got calves sucking, we got calves napping, and we got coal going in for lunch. We'll go spread that a little bit, park it back in the shed. I just checked, nothing's cabin, so I don't know what I'm gonna do the rest of the day. I got most of the work done before lunch. got the board the heifers have not only caught up since last night but they're now in the lead three to f wait that math doesn't add up there one moment 
the math was wrong. We have five heifers now and three bulls. The bull started out strong. First three hit the ground. Well, then the heifers made a 5-0 and run, and uh, they're ahead. But, yeah, we're at a total of eight now. She got a dingleberry. Not much going on over here. So we'll head home. There's something we got to do over there, and then come back right at closing time, get all these heifers in the barn for nighttime. Might have been last video I moved some snow in this pen because we'll be moving pears over here. It'll be a couple weeks yet, but just getting prepared for them. And we'll be feeding them hay in a bale feeder right there. So I'm going to take the track skid loader, travel across this frozen tundra, hopefully without getting stuck, and grab one of those bale feeders, whatever is easier to get at. have to retire this after this season as long as it doesn't fall apart on my way back Follow me if you want the perlet. We sorted these girls off about three days ago. Ten of them that we thought were getting kind of close to calving. There's some big bags in there. Not one of them's calved yet. Seems like it's a day. We had two calves early this morning. Got the building cleaned. Mom and dad are getting back late tonight. Tonight is supposed to start sprinkling and get almost maybe even a half inch of rain, which uh, that's not ideal. Nobody's gonna like that. I mean, we need the moisture, of course, but we do have some muddy conditions already. And I mean, nobody likes getting rained on when it's 33 degrees out, you know. We take it as it comes and deal with it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the calving. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.